blockbusters like Traffic, Far From Heaven, and The Rookie. His new movie, Cold Creek Manor, opens nationwide September 19th. Please give a warm welcome to Dennis Quaid. Why? Very... <laughs> They, they're very happy to see you. Wow. A lot of whoopers. Yeah, a lot of whoopers. It's a fun group. Yeah. Intelligent. So you, got your, uh, you, you got yourself some lemonade? Yes, I do. Did everybody get some lemonade today? Yeah. <laughs> I Not, think they actually arrested her for being too cute. She, she's adorable, isn't yeah, she? she's adorable. Yeah. So uh, it's good to see you. We haven't seen each other for a while. We used to see each other in, at yoga. At yoga. Yeah. Do you still do it every day? I do it uh, not as much as I used to. Yeah. I used to do what it like six mean? times a week. Six times a week? Now I go like, oh, twice a week, maybe if I'm in town. Really? Mm. So you're good? Not really. Do you, does anybody here do Girls yoga? Girls are good. Girls are really good. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's hard. It's harder than you. I didn't want to do it. I avoided it for a while because I thought it would be too easy, but yoga's hard. I just want to be able to tie my shoes when I'm 70. That's, yeah. that's the reason I'm there. But you can lift your feet up to you. You don't yeah, have to bend over, exactly. you know. Exactly. That's yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. So uh, I, saw, I, I uh, saw your house in Architectural Digest this, this yeah. month. It's on the cover. Have you seen Dennis quite where? Here. Um, look at his doggy on the, riding the horse. Can you see that? He's a killer. <laughs> Very dangerous dog. What kind of dog is that? That is a Border Terrier. And actually, those dogs are bred to do that. To, ri to ride horses? Yeah, they use them in, they use. No, it they wasn't. Used them, they use them in fox hunting. <clears throat> and the riders, they would send the hounds out chasing the fox, and this dog would ride on the horse with the rider. And then when they, hold, when they got the fox in a hole, they'd send this dog down after it. And he wouldn't come out until they got that fox out of there. Oh, yeah. well, that's fair for the fox. No. Um, <laughs> but I don't use him for fox hunting. Yeah, no. I mean, I think if you're gonna fox hunt, you gotta stand there and put your hand down in there. You gotta be work. <laughs> You gotta be risking your, your arm. You pull back a stump. Now, what's your, uh, it looks like a beautiful, how many acres do you have? Uh, uh, about 500, something like that. Me too. The whole, the whole idea, <laughs> well, the whole idea like in, in Montana is I don't want all the land in Montana, I just want the land that's next to me. But isn't all land, in Montana, it, uh, isn't your neighbor like the closest neighbor, like 100 about miles about a half away? mile away. Half mile away. Mm -hmm. Now, and like if you run out of milk or something, is there a store close by? Just go out to the barn and milk the cow. Really? Yeah. Do you do all that? Do you if have... I had a cow. Oh. Because <laughs> you seem like that kind of guy that would do have I, a cow. Do I you... really seem like a cow milker to you? <laughs> I've always thought of you as a cow milker. Oh, well, this is too um, what, what would be wrong with that? I think Nothing it's... is wrong with that. Yeah. People do that every you day. Have... We need people to milk cows. Yes, we do. Yes. We need cows and people to milk them. That's right. Lisa, maybe milking cows would be a... <laughs> She's looking for a job. Yeah. Maybe you get a cow and Not you Not send... too many boo-boos there. That's yeah. <laughs> I got the hand motion. <laughs> So, um, and you, you built the house also here in Montana? Uh, yes. It's like my dream house. And, but you didn't yeah. really build it? Not with my own two hands, no. Yeah, but you designed it? No, I worked construction when I was a kid, and, and, and I, I like to delegate and supervise now. Yeah. It's really the greatest job. Right. It is, except yeah. nobody's ever on time or, you know, tell, somebody oh, tell they, them. All my crew was on time. Really? Oh, yeah. How long did it take you to build builder. that house? It took about a year and a half. What does that mean? Well, you know, they always tell you, they always want to be optimistic and tell you that they're going to have it ready by Christmas. Right. They just don't tell you it's Christmas two years later. Right. You know what I mean? I know, I know. It's, it's... And it always turns out, one of the, I was there the entire time we were building the house just about. And the good thing is you actually get there and have the experience and be able to change things, you know, have them exactly the way you want. The, the downside is, is that it winds up, costing you three times more because they show you five different types of flooring or something right. and say, which one do you like? And you say, oh, I like that one. And it just happens to be the most expensive one. Of so. course. They, they, they do that on purpose. Yeah. They show you all the different. Now, it, if you don't have Architectural Digest, it really is. It's a beautiful. And your, your bed, it's a great looking bed. It's, uh, whose bed is that? that it's you? Sandy Bullock's bed. How come? Well, <laughs> Sandy built a house in Austin that she wasn't able to move into because she had builder problems and so she, she bought this bed for it but the bed didn't go in her old house oh. so I heard from a friend that she wanted to sell it so I called her up when I was in Austin and I said I saw your ad in the recycler 
and I would like to buy your bed. So I went over there, and I looked at it, kicked the tires on it, and I bought it. So it, did it say Sandy Bullock's bed? Did it, <laughs> is that how she advertised it? It just says SB. Oh, I see. So. And you knew. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, that's nice to have Sandra Bullock's bed. I have uh, George Foreman's grill. <laughs> More Dennis Quaid right after this. We're back with Dennis Quaid, and uh, so so the movie Cold Creek Manor opens yeah. up on, uh, next Friday, I believe. The nineteenth. Nineteenth, and uh, it's 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 kind of it's not a scary movie, but there's there's some scary. Yeah, it's a thriller. It's yeah, okay, yeah, yeah it's a thriller. It's, it's with me and uh, Sharon Stone <laughs> and uh, Stephen Dorff. And yeah, between the two of you with your shirts off, that was... Uh... Yeah, well, we all have our shirts off yeah. throughout the entire film. <laughs> but it's directed by uh, this director, uh, Mike Figgis, right. who, who did Leaving Las Vegas. I really wanted to work with him. Yeah. And uh, it's he's beautifully a little shot. twisted individual, so... Yeah, he is. Anyway, that's the way the movie is, too. You don't really know. You kind of you wonder, is the house haunted? Something's wrong with the house. Well, Clearly Sh some... Sharon, Sharon Stone and I, we, we were a couple with two kids. We've been living in, the, in New York. We want to get out of the city and simplify our life. And our marriage is a little in trouble. And so we find this beautiful house out in the country. And it's, we get it for a song because it's you know, a, from the bank. It's repossessed by the bank. Then the guy, one thing they left out at the closing, the guy who used to own it before us, he gets out of prison and comes back and wants it back. And he's willing to go to uh, any means necessary to do that. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It, it gets very, he's, he's just that first scene when he shows up and is eating. It's the creepiest scene, just him, the way he was eating. His table manners? Yes. Yeah. It, it, it scared me. That, that alone scared me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, have, we have just a minute left, but I want to talk about, you have the same initials as, as uh, Dairy Queen, by yes, the way, I do, Dennis DQ, Quaid. Yeah. And so, so, and you love the Dairy Queen. Oh, I in Montana, I almost bought the Dairy Queen there. Right. <laughs> You should. Yeah, we go Good we go there absolutely every day. But you know, you always have that outside. You know, they always have the speaker and stuff like right. that, and, and you never could hear them. So here's what I do when I when I go there every yeah. day. Yeah. Drive up and say. Yeah. I... Hello, Dairy Queen. Get ready to take our order. <laughs> and then they come on. The girl comes on and says, may I take your order? And I say, one minute while we peruse your multiplicitous menu. <laughs> then we wait. And we say, we're ready to order. So we order. And then I say, thank you very much, my little dairy princess, for your kind and courteous service. <laughs> then when we pull around at the end of it, they never mention anything about it. No. About the megaphone. Yeah. This has been going on for years and years. Yeah. So. Well, that's because they're scared of you now. But um, <laughs> I would like to thank you as being my guest on the show. Cold Creek Manor opens nationwide in theaters September 19th. When we come back, the music of Lisa Marie Presley. Thank you, Dennis Quaid.